Welcome to the Division Builds. The build setup we will discuss today is the Technician, which is a role based on skill power. We will start by giving a description of the class, after which we will recommend the gear set, weapons, skills and talents. Skill power is one of the three main factors that make up your character. The technician or engineer specializes in this skill power, making their lethal skills very powerful. This class also has decent damage per second. The gear set consists of six pieces. The body armor, mask, knee pads, backpack, gloves and holster. The gear set mostly determines what kind of role you will play. They have multiple factors that influence the statistics. The gear score, armor rating, damage per second, toughness and skill power, the major and minor attributes, skill attributes, the gear set bonuses and the modification slots. The gear sets we recommend are the Tactician's Authority and the Striker's Battle Gear. Four pieces should consist of the Tactician's Authority gear set, which increases your skill power by 4000 points, reduces skill cooldowns by 20%, and it adds the Tactician's Authority talent. This adds 1% skill power to you for a maximum of 100% for every 60k damage your group deals. Every second that the group isn't dealing damage, it decreases by 1%. Two pieces should consist of the Striker's Bellow Gear Set, which gives you 10% increased armor damage. The gear score is of course 268. Out of the DPS, toughness and skill power, you mainly want to focus on the skill power being around 30k to 40k. Secondly, you want to balance it between DPS and toughness, with the DPS being around 200k and the toughness being around 300k. The major and minor attributes should consist of increased skill power, skill haste, signature skill resource gain, and assault rifle damage. The skill attributes revolve around the skill we will recommend later on in the video. You want to have increased seeker mine explosion radius, seeker mine damage, and increased turret damage, turret health, and turret duration. Finally, the armor, mask, knee pads and backpack gear set pieces contain a total of 4 modification slots. The modifications should consist of increased skill power and firearms and the bonuses should be the same for the skill attributes. Your primary weapon will be the enhanced ACRE assault rifle. It is very balanced in terms of damage, accuracy and stability. As an assault rifle, it also has an armor damage bonus. Equipping this weapon will give you a medium damage per second weapon for medium range engagements. Your secondary weapon will be the military MK46 light machine gun. This variant of the M249B has a great damage profile and has a decent stability and accuracy. As a light machine gun, it also deals damage against targets out of cover. Equipping this weapon will give you a medium to high damage light machine gun for medium to long range engagements. The sidearm of choice will be the 586 Magnum. Besides the sort of shotgun, it has the best damage. Use it as a powerful backup weapon to finish enemies off. The skills are also an important part of the build. The first skill will be the Seeker Mine with the Gas Charge modification. It deploys an automated mine that seeks out and moves between multiple targets, releasing a cloud of gas that disorientates on impact within 5 meters. Use this to stun the enemies before or during a gunfight. The second skill will be the turret with the Zapper modification. 
It deploys a turret that shoots electrical darts that damage and stun multiple targets within 20 meters. This ability can also be used to stun the enemies, which is very effective against rushers. The signature skill will be the tactical link. This increases damage by 50% and the critical hit chance by 20% for a duration of 12 seconds. It gives you the edge against larger groups of enemies or named enemies. Finally, the talents are passive abilities that complete each character build. You can choose up to 4 talents. Fear Tactics has a 30% chance to apply a shock effect to all targets within 10 meters when applying shock to any target. Tech Support extends any active skill duration by 10% when a hostile is killed as one of your skills is deployed. Death by Proxy increases skill power by 20% for 30 seconds when destroying a hostile's deployed skill. And Precision pulses a hostile for 10 seconds when landing a headshot. When putting all of this together, from the gear set to the talents, you should have a well-rounded technician that is very effective with his skills. Thank you for watching. The sources that we have used are mentioned in the description. We also put the related weapon guides in the description if you want a more in-depth look at each weapon. If you enjoyed the guide, please consider leaving a rating. Subscribe for more related content. Please support us on social media. The links are down there in the description. If you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, leave those in the comment section down below.